Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 3, Lesson 3, Creating a Landscape. In this lesson, we'll explain the purpose of a landscape in Unreal Engine. We'll explain landscape mode and the tools that are available. We'll demonstrate creating a landscape in Unreal Engine. And then we'll demonstrate the landscape mode tool and its applications. Unreal Engine has a landscaping tool built into it that allows you to create very immersive worlds. Here's the definition from the Unreal Engine documentation. A landscape can be used for creating a cohesive terrain actor within a level. And the landscaping tools are very powerful for quickly creating large levels without a need to manually place assets. The landscaping mode gives you access to a variety of tools. You can manage landscape, which allows you to create a new landscape actor and manage existing landscape actors. You can use sculpt mode to edit a selected landscape's topology, and then you can paint a landscape using a landscape material. Let's demonstrate creating a landscape in Unreal Engine. I'm back here in the level we created, and we still have our house here in the center. Let's create a landscape. And the first step is we can take this floor and we can delete it from our level. Over here, where it says select mode, we can select this and then go to landscape mode. And you'll see this large green checkered mesh. This is showing us the landscape that it's gonna create. We'll zoom way out so we can get a better view of it. And we can see that this is the size of the landscape that it's gonna create. We can use these settings over here to change the size or the shape of the landscape. And let's go through what some of these mean. The scale represents the size of each individual square. A section is represented by these brighter green lines that outline each section. So we can see here, this is set to 63 by 63, which means it is 63 by 63 in each of these sections. So for instance, we can change this to seven by seven, which makes a much smaller landscape all the way to 255 by 255, which makes a massive landscape. We can also change the number per section. So one by one to two by two. And we can see that the map is already getting pretty large. And then we can change the number of components in the X and Y. You'll notice that there's eight by eight currently. And we can scale this up to make a larger map as well. I recommend playing around with the size of the map until you get something that you like. These are the settings I'm gonna use, 100 for each of the scales, 255 by 255 for the section size, one by one, eight by eight, and then we'll leave the rest the same. When you have everything the way you want it, click create. And now we have a landscape in our map. If we go back to the manage tab, you'll see that we could use some of these other tools now if we wanted to change the landscape. For instance, if we wanted to create a hole in the middle of our landscape, we could select delete and then delete one of the sections. In addition, add, we'll add it back, or we can add additional ones to the side if we wanted. The landscape tool also allows you to import a height map. So if you have a height map from another program, you could take that and you can import the height map and it will automatically generate a landscape for you from that height map. After we have the landscape in our level, the next thing we can do is start to sculpt it. Up here, you'll see this sculpt tab. And then there's a bunch of tools that we can use to sculpt. For instance, with the sculpt tool selected, if we left click on our landscape, you'll notice that it starts to create a little bit of topology in our level. And we can create a nice little mountain range over here. If I hold shift and left click, it'll do the opposite. It'll start to sculpt into it. So this is great for making things like valleys. I won't go through all the tools, but I just want to show you a couple of them. The smooth tool will take some of this jagged topology and smoothen it out. The effect can be subtle, but it also makes things look a lot more realistic. There's the flatten tool, which will take the center of this cursor and it'll make it all the same height. This is great for when you want to level something out to make it more playable. 
And then there are some erosion features that try to simulate realistic erosion in a level. So I recommend you play around with these, try to create a landscape for your scene, and really just experiment. Once you're happy with the general topology of your landscape, we're gonna show how to use the paint mode to apply textures to our landscape to make it look even more realistic. And that'll be in the next lesson. So take some time working on your landscape and I'll see you then.